Welcome back to the channel. This is the Cybergun Auto Ordnance Custom 1911 and this flavour Squadron. Now as most of you know by now when Cybergun gets involved it's normally to do with licensing. So thanks to Cybergun this bad boy is Auto Ordnance licensed. And of course you have an instruction manual a strip of sandpaper, a very nice pre-weathered 15 round mag and of course ha, the main piece itself oh my goodness and oh my gosh would you have a look at that let me just get rid of that sticker oh wait that one as well oh <laughs> Oh my gosh, people, look at this. This isn't just any old Airsoft 1911. This bad boy has been pre-weathered. It's got some very special markings on there and real wood grips. Come on, how often do we, oops. How often do we see that? Normally we get some replicated wood panels or just straight up plastic. But this one is gorgeous. I'll tell you what, let me just tidy up a little bit. Now when this particular model caught my eye, I realized I had a choice of three. I could have got the Victory Girls version, the Fly Girls version, or this, the Squadron version. And guess what? I'm gonna get all three for the collection, but this particular one had to come first. The Squadron. And you can see where it gets its inspiration from. Now, the last time I got a bit of free sandpaper, it was with another pre-weathered version. And the whole purpose of that is that you can use this sandpaper to do more weathering. So right now, I can make this absolutely unique to me by just doing this, watch. If I go like that, yep, I've weathered it a bit more and the chances of somebody else on this planet having the same exact weathering as me will be impossible. You watch, someone will get a screen grab of what I just did and absolutely try to replicate my weathering just to prove me wrong. <laughs> anyway, let me complete this picture. Oh, my, my. So starting at the back, you have your lanyard point, your main spring housing, your grip safety. So if your hand isn't on that, you can't pull this. You have your thumb safety. And then moving to the top, you have your rear sight, your hammer, and don't worry, I'll go over this gorgeous design in a moment. You have your slide catch and release, which also serves as your pin that you would need to release to get inside. Your mag release, your low profiled trigger. You've got some nice slide serrations right there. And as you can see, everywhere that counts, you've got some nice texturing like there, there, here, 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 and here. And that leads me nicely to here. Come on, let's have a look at the design and what they have done to this bad boy. So right here, you've got some very nice looking real wood grips. Look at these panels. And do you know this checkering on here? It's actually laser cut diamond shape, or if you like, checkering on the panels. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. And then of course, you've got US right in the center. Merka! Yeah! <clears throat> Sorry. As we move along, the awesome design doesn't stop there. Would you look at the front of the grip? Right there, it says USA. And if you look closely around it, it's almost as if it's got rivets going around it. Absolutely love this design. And of course, the weathering. Hold on. Yeah, just made it a bit more exclusive. <laughs> and that design doesn't stop there. So as we move up to the slide, you can see that same pattern 
going around here and all the way along this awesome looking slide. Because as you know, this is based on the nose art that you would find on this type of aircraft. And right here you have the US Army Air Corps insignia, America! <laughs> yeah! <clears throat> Sorry. Now, as we move along, you get to these awesome looking shark teeth and the eye there, looking very menacing. But moving underneath, you can see that that actual uh, marking continues round there, which I think is a very nice little touch. They could have skimped out on that. Then of course you have the business end. And again, check out all the pre-weathering that it comes with out of the box. Hold on. Yeah, baby. <laughs> and then again, look, paying attention to detail. Look at that right there too. Same again on the other side. Absolutely love what they have done here. Do you know, I've always been a fan of Armourer Works. Now here's proof that I don't always get what I want or get stuff for free. Now I bought this, but believe it or not, I've been in talks with Armourer Works in the past and because I didn't want to um, review a particular model they wanted me to review, I ended up buying what I wanted to review from Armourer Works. So there's always that sort of relationship I have with these various companies. They don't always have to send me stuff for free. If I really like something and I never beg anyone for anything, they have to approach me first. And if they don't and I really want something, I'll buy it. And I am so happy <laughs> with this purchase. So far in terms of how it looks. So. Do you want further proof that it's auto ordnance licensing? Well, on the other side, take a close look right there. It doesn't get much better than that. <laughs> awesome. And then you have more markings here and there. Wait a minute. <laughs> I can just imagine there's someone out there with the same exact model trying to copy every single bit of weathering that I'm doing. Well, I tell you what, you'll never win because there, how about that? How about that? Okay. And that, and that, come on, try and keep up. <laughs> Oops. <clears throat> Sorry. I quite often get carried away. Now, absolutely awesome, loving the look of this. Like I said, there's two other models that look just as gorgeous as this, but that won it for me, mate. That there, oh, and the grips, oh. And right there is your hop-up adjustment. Right, my good old workhorse of a chrono unit by Ace Tech. Oh, by the way, Ace Tech got in contact recently. Ha <laughs> ha! And you know why they do that? They've got something new coming out and they're gonna send me one. Cool. And guess what I did? I asked them, can I have two so I can give one away? They said yes. So ha, that will be coming soon. And it's not a chrono machine. It's something that lights up BBs as per usual. And this one is even better, apparently. But anyway, I pro on. So there you go, we're probably looking at about 300 FPS, but guess what? I'm not gonna cut the video, I'm simply just gonna stand here for a few seconds. Talk amongst yourself. <laughs> okay, now check this, it will start to go back up again. It's that whole cooling effect, watch. Guarantee it will go up from 301.4. 
See? Oh, you want more? Okay. Now, it takes 15. I've put 10 through the chrono. By my calculations, I should only have five left. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go two here, two there, and one there. Ah, there you go, and it locked back beautifully. Now, as you can see there, pretty close, but not quite there, but come on. Is that fair? Unless it's a revolver, doesn't everything else get at least four goes on each target? Hell yeah! Let's do this. Mirko, hell yeah. No cap, that is awesome. No cap, what the hell? That's what these young people are saying these days, no cap. It's a way of saying no lie or not lying or something like that. I remember in the good old days, caps were something you put on your head. But oh my gosh, look at that, look at that, and look at that. Perfect. <laughs> I put 10 through the chrono, 12 on the target. By my calculations, that's 22. Let's see how many more I can do before we run out of gas. Nice lock back. Let's get more BBs in. Let's see how much further we can keep going. Oh, there you go, there you go, it's out of gas. So here it is. This is the Cybergun Armourer Works Auto Ordnance Custom Series 1911. So what are my initial thoughts? Well, hold on, yeah look. If I'm being generous, probably going to get about two to two and a half mags worth before you have to fill it up with gas again. So, what are my initial thoughts on this thing? Well, I love it. I absolutely love the design. As always, this is brand new out of the box, okay? So I expect it to work flawlessly and it has. Will it continue that way over time? Who knows? But as far as a representation of something so classic, this is awesome. And I'm telling you, if you're into collecting, it's worth getting the other two also. They make a nice set. Hit the video description for more info. Thanks for watching if you just stumbled across this video. Thank you even more if you're a subscriber. Thank you even more if you're a channel member. And oh, for my top VIP level three channel members, my new PVC patch, slightly redesigned, is almost ready. And you will get yours soon, very soon. Thanks for watching. And catch me next time, either on my Mike's Tech and Toys Plus Movie Memorabilia channel or right here on the Airsoft Mike YouTube channel.